what's going on youtube and welcome back to the diamond kingdom it's the diamond lion and today we are going to be looking at my villager breeding contraption factory whatever you want to call it um, we're gonna be taking a look at that today so if you're interested in that stay tuned and also if you want to see more videos kind of similar to this one make sure to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and let's get into today's video so that is our main house we made a video looking at the automatic cooker the other day if you want to check that out make sure to check that out after this video we're not going to be moving too far today because we are going to be looking right there look at that beautiful little building and um yeah it's kind of inspired from the automatic wool farm which is on the other side over there if you could see it over the hill you can tell there's iron golems here, which is pretty telling because that probably means that there are villagers and that is indeed correct. So let's take a look at our villagers. Um, I really made it where it's pretty difficult for the villagers to leave this little area. Um, I really like the design of this. It's all mostly underground. Eventually I'll be expanding it out this way um, and I'll probably be doing that in another video, not today. Um, so basically what this is is this is all three this is basically three different rooms i had a couple different prototype designs for this and they didn't really work so i settled for something maybe a little bit less sophisticated but i think this will work pretty well um and i probably will make more adjustments to this so definitely stay tuned for more videos on it but basically all we do here is now it's easier to come in here because it's nighttime basically it's just a room here and I usually oh man I forgot it but basically I have a way of accessing the other rooms these are they're all the same all three rooms are the exact same and they have a little hole here and you might be saying the diamond line why do you have a little like peephole there I'm gonna explain that in a second so basically what that's for is um, when we have I took all my things here whoops Basically, these levers are in charge of opening a gate, and that gate is right here. So now the gate is open. So basically, if you have enough baby villagers in here, the baby villagers will actually go into this little system. And I didn't want to do that. Whoops. And basically, what you want them to do, eventually, if they're idle and walking around enough, they will end up there. And you can see that's where our cobblestone goes. And that's where the villagers will go. So the baby villager, right? I'll just do it for just to show you guys. But basically all the, right? So that I got to do the whole thing. Okay. All right. So we're breaking it up a little bit. Basically, right? They can't, the baby villager, it's now not one block. And imagine this block is here, okay? You open up the lever. Now the baby villager goes in, right? And the water flows right into here. And then from here, the baby villager eventually is going to go down here, or maybe not. <laughs> and eventually they end up down here. Now, there's nowhere for them to really go from here. So, yeah, maybe they didn't go on the minecart, but um, I could send them wherever I want. So, if I want them to go that way, if I want to send them to another location, or here, or here, or here, whatever locations you want to send your villagers, it all starts from this little room and once you want to open the door you could open the door and they can go via minecart right into your area so it's really not a complicated system this is kind of the collection room for the the i mean these guys had to have been baby villagers to get in here but that's pretty much all that you have to do and that's your collection room and i kind of like having this here so i could see what's going on down there um and you kind of get an idea of the mechanism itself for, for kind of what we're doing. So I'm really a fan of how this all came out. I'm really happy with it. And, um, you know, I'd love to know what you guys think because it is kind of an interesting contraption. I don't know if there's anything. I don't really look much for this stuff on YouTube. So if it does exist, let me know. Um, but I think it's kind of something fun. And, you know, it did take me a little while to do. It did take me like probably like four or five hours to like completely set everything up, which I know in the grand scheme of things doesn't, it's not that much time, but 
including the process of bringing the villagers over and um, making them breed because I was having problems with them not breeding right away and now they're breeding like rabbits that is now that is no longer an issue but kind of setting all that stuff up and you know making improvements I'm definitely open to that um, if you guys have any suggestions and I think you know eventually I'd like to make it where it's easier for the baby villagers to get down there but it sounds like just that one block is enough they will look for any kind of escape or an opening and they end up down there so we must be doing we must be doing something right if I was able to already get uh, two villagers down there like I said guys if you have any questions comments concerns um, any feedback I'm willing to take any of your feedback I'll do my best to answer as quickly as I possibly can and like I said if you have any improvements to it um, I know YouTube is pretty easy to uh, quick to criticize but if you guys have any constructive criticism for anything I can add or improve on to this concept I think it's a really good springboard to maybe other concepts down the road that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and have a great day peace out guys